Ejiwin Ibewa Ala Ibefu Itoki Road. It's an interstate road connects Lagos State via Itoki and Ikorudu. Today's commissioning is in addition to the roads already commissioned by His Excellency in the Ogun East Senatorial District. It was the turn of Ijebu East local government as Ishure Road, Ijebu Mushin, was commissioned and not long ago, Igo Road in Agoyewuyi and Mulusi College Road in Ijebu Igbo, Ijebu North local government. Obi in Shagamu, Ishagam local government area, Ashafaoki, Ashafai Sale, Ayego Ojofa, Molipa, Fusiboyi Road in Ijebu Ode, the Ejiri Idowa Ala Ibefu Itoki Road was in the past a completely failed asphaltic road that was posing serious challenges to the motorists, residents, and other users. With the reconstruction of the road, however, each circle has been brought to the area and to the motorists playing the road. The road, which is a link to Ikorudu in Lagos State, is provided with trapezoid drain where needed and culverts to avoid flooding and water deposit on the road. Aside from this, the road provides easy accessibility to health facilities, schools, industries along the route, as all this also affects the economic development of the area positively. It is important to mention that here a number of completed road projects are still on the waiting list of the commissioning by His Excellency in the three senatorial district for our state. At this junction, I want to welcome you all once again. Igbega Ekunlegun, Ajoshe Bogowani. Eh, ono ton wa ba wa se, ngba to baje. Governor, anywhere that ba pade, nje la omunu ma nko won wi pe a mo nkan ti ogbe ni ma so le ni loro ona, loro ona yi. But won ba wa se, sugbon ope wa ko gbodo duro lodo governor. On l'a dit, 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 on l'a on l'a dit, on l'a dit, on l'a dit, on l'a dit, on l'a Tori ti o ba se be ijo kan moto todo mi ori sinu e a mi so to are wo moto e si ma fe se mre de palace mi ni be awon kan wa so pe no pe a baba that is not correct mo wa gbe mi de palace mo tun ri governor i merely smiled and he too smiled you know he is always smiling you don't know him i know him very well he smiled I knew what his mind meant. You go abanje or no? Am I worry? And here we are today. He is trying to help us to commission the road. So on behalf of our people in this area, I do pay our governor. Wa eh eh jo eh mo you pay or I bought it day. Please, please. Oh mo iyagba. Oya ki ye le run je mu ki le re su ko mo ni me le su nufo ejo ejo no ba ma se ibrubo e turn up massively and see that uh, our governor goes to the emotion house the second time we wish you well your excellency and may your shadow never grow less abi odun te le o mo re o Support. Prince Dr. Akbabi Odo MFA is giving to Ogu State Artisan. Nick Mila Ogu, Ometa Kowa Tiko Shelleri, Akokore, Koshelleri, Konishia Washia, Yajo Nishia Wa, Kikomino, Mila Ogu, Kode Shefu Toko Toko Tatara, Akokoni, Ebami Patrofu Gomino Wa, Ike Jinikbe, in the history of Ogu State Artisan. It has never happened that one governor gave artisan a brand new boss. Last week, Baba wa Gomino wa one for one new boss to two. He kept a tico shell and he nicked me logo. 
Our government gave us a direct contract. This is not a labor. Our carpenter and welders, they are now in charge of constructions of school furnitures all over the states. It has never happened in the history of the states. Schools. Today, we are here to say thank you, sir. Let me now quickly invite Romalia George from the Grenbach Construction, those that actually did the construction of this road that we are commissioning today. Judge, over to you. On behalf of staff and management of Cranbrook Construction Company, I wish to express our gratitude to His Excellency for giving us the opportunity to collaborate with the Ogun State Government on his, this project. We are also grateful to the Idowa Ibefun community for welcoming us and enabling us to deliver the project in record time. We hope to continue to work with the state government to deliver landmark project and to continue to position Ogun State as a leading state in infrastructural development. I want to commend Your Excellency, sir, uh, Mabel Governor, and uh, the most friendly governor all over the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the person of our own daddy, comrade Adetapo, Oluwashon Adodo. It is not by accident that you see the totality and the entirety of the Nigerian students in the Gateway State queuing behind you every time. And so shall it be till the very day that you will be elected into the second term, into office. And on the, uh, to this, we are using this medium to thank you once more for all you've been doing to the student constituency. As you can see, INEC. In the, according to their statistics, the students have the most numbers in terms of uh, the PVC registration. And to this, I want to say that we, the Nigerian students in the Gateway State, have the highest numbers of votes, and we will deliver. Because already we have commissioned our foot soldiers in every tertiary institution in Ogo State, and we will do our best. That as we've been doing, and you know that you know we've been doing it, we won't stop and we won't relent this time around. Before I go, I want to use this medium to commend you once more. Sir, you are a wise governor, and uh, you are the most intelligent man I've seen. Not to buy, not to buy Ariwo. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not by being a ruffian, it's not by being, you know, you, are, you have set a place, you are different, and it's working for you. You choose the best man for the job to be your SS student. And something that has never happened before in the history of this state happened. You have the entirety and the totality of every Nigerian student in the Gateway State under one umbrella, under the APC, under your government. It has never happened before. Come May 29, 2023, we all will gather once more to celebrate your victory. And to this, I tell up the greatest Nigerian students. Your Excellency, I tell you what you are doing. Today is indeed another day that the Lord has made, and we are glad we are celebrating. And we are rejoicing in it. Let me start by singing my favorite song. On this note, on this religious note, 
on this very thankful note, let me congratulate the people of Idora, Allah, Ibefun, and by extension, the people of Odoboni local government on the commissioning of this Idora, Allah, Ibefun road. This road is yet another milestone in the infrastructure development which is required for the transformation of our socio-economic activities in the gateway state. In the last few months, we have gone from one local government to the other. We started by conducting external world meetings. We began to commission road projects. In the last few days, we started our campaign. And one thing we're doing that's very unique and different is that for each local government we go to, we commission a landmark, people-oriented project. We're not just coming to say, uh, the Bofuwa, uh, 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 we are pointing to projects that you can touch, that you can see, that you can feel, in line with our vision, our vision of providing an enabling environment for public private enterprise to thrive because we believe that is very fundamental not just to our social economy upliftment but the individual prosperity of our people we are a promise keeping administration so we go to each local government we were in Ewekoro we commissioned the Tory Township Road the cabinet is in there gave a testimony he said he was born in 1960 between 1960 and 2023, he had not seen a third road in Iwekoro. I mean, that is an awesome testimony. You know, they said pictures don't lie. Facts do not lie. We were in Ijebu East. Precisely Eshure. We commissioned, yet again, the Eshure Road. Today, we are here in Odobolu. We are commissioning this 18-kilometer road that starts here in Idawa. That goes to Allah and Ibefu. This is a connecting road between Ogun State and Lagos State. And by the way, for the avoidance of doubt, this road is yet another federal road that the people and government of Ogun State have invested your commonwealth in. Because there are no federal people. Everyone comes from a particular state. And they geolocate their pains and suffering to where they feel it. And we cannot sit by. We will be irresponsible as an administration if we sit by and let our people suffer as they commute between Lagos and Ogun State. You recall when I assumed office, I made a promise that not only will our infrastructure development be people oriented, we will pay attention to roads that are connecting us with adjacent cities, particularly Lagos State. A state that we signed a joint development cooperation with because we are what New Jersey is to New York. That is what Ogo State is to Gateway State, to, to Lagos State, being the only state that borders Lagos State. Today, we are here in fulfillment of that promise in line with our determination to continue to build the future of Ogo State together. This is one of many roads that we have constructed. We have reconstructed over 400 kilometers of highway in three years and seven months. We never promised to reconstruct all the roads of Ogo State in four years. It is impossible. It is unthinkable. The level of infrastructural gap that we met when we assumed office, we knew that it is impossible to complete the reconstruction in four years. Each time we commission a highway or a road and it's posted on social media, particularly Instagram, you see people say, ah, yeah, yeah, can I see congratulations. However, there's my road in uh, Ota. There's my road in Nifo. There's my road in Waterside. There's my road in Odobolu. Even right now, Kabini said, uh, there's this road that our that did not construct that goes all the way to uh, Allah. There are so many roads. Even after spending eight years, we would not have constructed all the roads. But you know what? We would have made a visible difference. That much I promise you. We do not promise to reconstruct everything, but we promise that for every promise we make, we will fulfill those promises. We will leave Ogun State 
much, much better than we met it. We're intervening not just in road infrastructure. We're building yet the first international agro cargo airport in Ogun State and in Nigeria, right here in Ogun East. And by the grace of God, between now and May 29, all of us will be witnesses to the commissioning of that international cargo airport. We'll continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will continue. I will not stop until every school in Ogun State is totally rehabilitated. This is the in education capital of Nigeria. This is the birthplace of free education. And we ensure that we continue to provide our students with the required infrastructure and the required environment to allow for, uh, for learning and education. We will not stop until every primary healthcare center is refurbished, rehabilitated, and equipped. We will not stop until when we've turned every desirous indigenous of Ogun State who does not want to be a tenant into a landlord. We will continue with programs, policies that will ensure the efficiency of governance. We will continue to create that enabling environment for industries to come here and thrive. No wonder we are awarded the number one state in industrial revolution. I want to thank our cabinets, who without which we will not be where we are today. Because it is your support, your prayers, your cooperation and collaboration that allowed us to have peace at the grassroots. Without peace and security, there cannot be socio-economic development. So we thank you. We thank you. We thank our law enforcement agencies. We thank our yellowjars. We thank our League of Imams. We thank our cans. We thank our students. We thank our youth. We thank our yellowjars, our artisans. We thank everybody for cooperating with us. Please continue to lift us up in your prayers. Now, as we prepare for the year 2023 general elections, I want to admonish all of us to ensure that we go and collect our PVCs because without our PVCs, we will not be able to vote. And it is by voting that you can vote us in again to continue with these laudable initiatives. Without your PVCs, those that are here today, we consider you our disciples. Please go back home and let our people know that they must go and collect their PVCs because you can only vote in the government you deserve or desire by using your PVCs. And having said that, I also want to admonish our parents and guardians to not allow their children to be used as thugs in the course of this election. This is Ogo State. We on our part have lowered the political temperature. We've allowed for every political party to go about in marketing themselves without fear. We will not tolerate any act of thuggery. We will deal with decisively in the full might of the law against any person, no matter how highly placed, that attempts to test our will. I'm sure that we'll continue to be the Omolu Abis that we are in this state. We are a good state. We are not a uh, fox. We are not a uh, court. We are not a uh, 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 disobedient. We are those, we are known for good character. And on all I want to thank all of you for listening to me. It would be my pleasure to proceed to now go and commission this road, this 18 kilometer road, to the glory of God, to the use of all our indigenous and citizens that are from here and those that are traveling between Lagos State and Ogun State. And, and, and so help me God. Ogun State Government, Minister of Works and Infrastructure, this flag was unveiled in commemoration of the commissioning of Ijebu Ode, Ijawa, Ipepun Road, in Odoboli local government, by me, His Excellency, Prince Dako Abiodu MFR, Governor of Ogun State, on this day, Monday, 16th January 2023, to the glory of the Almighty God and the use of all indigenous citizens, visitors, travelers, traveling between Lagos and Ogo State.
renewed hope. omo badapo abi odun ati igba keji re engineer no yin mo sala ko ye dele le kan si ki awon mere mere yi tubo ma tesi waju apc renewed hope